Many of us would be devastated if we lost the ability to read. Books, magazines, newspapers, all of it no longer accessible. Now, if we could afford to, we might pay someone to read to us, or we might stumble on a group that's already reading to strangers for free. See why the audio reading services from the Allen County Public Library is positively Fort Wayne. All positive virus results. Two people are that morning team that do that, that show, and, and you take that paper, and one person looks at every odd page, one person looks at every even page. Unlike most volunteers with audio reading services, one-time WoWo employee Kevin Morse has a background in radio. This is a little different format. You, you, know, you can listen to TV, you can listen to radio, but here you've got a wide variety of things you won't find. So we read the Journal Gazette Live every morning, um, and that includes a very popular segment, which is obituaries. A lot of our listeners love obituaries. And we also do um, local grocery ads and Sunday ads. George Ann Johnson Coffee manages the program. It's anybody who would have perhaps um, difficulty with vision, which is what most people think of if you can't read printed material. We also have people who have had stroke or perhaps Parkinson's who can't hold a book anymore. From this warehouse owned by the library off the beaten path on the north side of Fort Wayne, they create programming that reaches 80,000 people a week. This book is called Hobbin, the Deafblind Woman Who Conquered Harvard Law. She, it, it, I've learned a lot about being deafblind just from how much I've already read of this book. Margaret um, reads from the biographies for one hour a week. Eritrea. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I'm not sure what it's like to be on the listening end of that because I read, an hour is actually only 55 minutes, so I read for 55 minutes and if I'm lucky, it comes at the end of a chapter that I have to cut it off. Sometimes I have to break in the middle of a chapter. Hello, and welcome to Pet Potpourri, a program brought to you by the Audio Reading Service. Volunteer Diana more or less stumbled into reading about eight years ago, but she stayed with it because she just thinks it's the right thing to do. Actually, a friend of mine, uh, she was going to come to uh, audition. We both auditioned, and then she said, oh, I thought I'd get to actually read to people rather than to the microphone, and so she never did, and I stayed. Have your vet check your cat's microchip at your next wellness visit. And if it brings a little bit of joy or a smile to them, then, then that's what I should do. To learn more about the many ways to listen to audio reading services, check out this story on Wayne.com or simply ask a librarian. Today's top stories are next when your number one morning news continues right here on Wayne 15.